Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix Online Meeting 193, rolling our way through July. Sean's getting on a plane to fly back to the United States, and Bob and I are already here. Uh, as always, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now. But for those of you that are with us right here, right now, we started a thing near the end of the last meeting, maybe even after the last meeting, and kind of said, hey, who's out there? Say hi. We were just chatting before the stream saying that the viewer count is uh, – kind of off or hard to tell if Twitch is keeping up. So if you're here, go ahead in the chat, say hi. I know Jacob's around. Uh, say hi, Jacob, in the chat, and we will uh, keep on rolling through with the triage. You'll be able to hang out there. So just a way of saying, hey, yeah, it's cool to see some people. What are we doing today? We are doing triage, and we are then doing Wix V4 Preview Zero Triage. Uh, I don't More expect triage. It. Yeah, I know. It's going to be a whole lot of triage. But the Wix V4 Preview Zero is kind of a different kind of triage. Yeah, more exciting. Anyway, sure. with that. So uh, we'll do that. Then we'll do whatever time we have left. We'll see what, uh, so far, what Jacob wants us to talk about, if anything. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this started with triage of current issues. Bob, you ready? I am ready. All right. We have four. Um, and one of them is from Sean. So we'll start with that. Sean as the major upgrade to default same version upgrades. And the answer to this, I think, is yes, that we should change V4 to default same to save version upgrades. Um, over time, it kind of came down to um, the current behavior or the behavior of not allowing same version uh, version upgrades is not as good as the downside of what it means if you're same version upgrading, like the inconsistencies you can get in there. So I do think we should do this for both MSI and for bundles. Okay, so the reason that I wanted to talk about this again is before we talked about it in the context of bundles, mm -hmm. um, I think packages are a little bit different because of the... MSI tradition of ignoring the fourth version field. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the, it's there's a little bit of risk, um, and we make you opt into in V3. We make you opt into the behavior of allowing same version upgrades because of the risk of essentially trying to downgrade um, based on none of the first three version fields changing, but the fourth version field changing. Burn doesn't have that problem. It will always respect the fourth version field. So I'm a little concerned that the, that the inconsistency is present, not just in the behavior of major upgrades, but in the behavior of the respective engines. I'm a little worried about making a more dangerous default for MSI. Yeah, except I think so far this gener seems to happen in dev scenarios. It's the case where they just are like, yeah, I'm just doing this. It's no big deal. And the behavior otherwise is getting multiple ARP entries. And it's just, it's weird no matter which way you go. So it seems same version is, is a more consistent. Hey, it upgraded. Now when you have those same versions, look at a log file and you'll see what the behavior is if you have problems with your upgrades. I, I still think it's, it's the way that makes sense because the alternative is strange results in ARP that don't make any sense. That's kind of where it came down to. Um, yeah. Yeah. I guess I was, I was comfortable with the option. I'm less comfortable with a default and no option. Oh, Which is, no option. Well, unless we do something fancy for burn. We haven't talked about... We, so right now, major upgrade is an element only for MSI packages. It's just default behavior for burn. And we didn't talk about... We, we talked about changing the default for burn, which, you know, is... It's definitely more reasonable because it doesn't, again, ignore the fourth version field. And it's also much better about you know, a potential downgrade scenario. Um, for MSI, you have to explicitly author a major upgrade because, unfortunately, we 
can't supply default text for the downgrade, the actual downgrade case, um, and you have to opt in to the same version upgrade. Yeah, and I was just thinking about flipping the allow same version. To me, that's what the major upgrade change should be. It should be switched to switch that default. Okay. Um, well. Okay, but but then we're we're talking about now again an inconsistency in um, bundles versus packages. No, and bundles should do same version upgrades too Sorry. because they're arbitrary. Right. Sorry. I, yes, I know. Um, the inconsistency is that it's an option you can control in packages, and it is not an option in bundles. The BA has to do it, and the question is, what is the default recommendation by Burn? And we could, if we thought it was important, to expose a what that default operation is when it sees same versions. We could expose that in Burn. But given Burn, as you noted, better handling of same version upgrades, given the way it works with its four versions and the way it generally can handle packages being same versions of itself, um, that I don't think there's a lot of value in exposing it from Burn. I don't disagree. Great. So then that only leaves us with MSI, and I think that given MSI behavior and same version upgrades never seems to go the way people expect it, to, or the fact that we um, – what happens now? If you don't allow same version upgrades, you get the same MSI twice on the machine? Is ends up what's happening? No. You get the another version of this product is installed. The behaviors are different between bundles and packages. Because uh, again, first three fields are the only fields that count. Yes, that too. Well, that that aside, I mean, that's just truth in the Windows installer. You have to deal with that. Um, yeah, I my objection I, isn't strong. I'm I'm concerned because, you know, when we're talking about this, in the long ago time, you know, the, the, the risks of the quote unquote same version upgrade. And again, the, the problem isn't when the version is identical. The, ver the problem is when the fourth field differs because MSI can't differentiate that. Uh, so you're thinking people might think they're getting an upgrade even though they're not. I see. Well, yeah, sorry. This thinks they're getting a like a version upgrade, even though they're not. It, it's indistinguishable from um, from. <laughs> you can't tell the difference between something that actually upgrades and something that actually downgrades, if it's an, if the difference is only in the fourth version field. Right. I'm 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 comfortable changing the. Def uh, I'm not uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm only mildly uncomfortable changing the default. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Um, but it, it, so one of the nice things, you know, the current behavior is perfectly safe, even if it's not necessarily intuitive. But the fact that you have to author a major upgrade element means that you're going to see the options. Now, that's, that brings up a whole other issue of the fact that major upgrade was intended to be you know, a very simple, most common case scenario, and we have way too many options for that case anymore. But um, the you'll see it. It's 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 at least mildly okay. discoverable. Okay, so I, I think the I think the strongest case you've made so far, the strongest case you've made so far, in my opinion, is the fact that the user could be doing same version upgrades and thinking that everything is working just fine with a four-part version, even though really it's not. It's just they're probably only testing and going up, but technically speaking, it would allow them to downgrade on that fourth version because that fourth part is not considered for other versions, so right. only those three parts were and therefore allow same versions could cause you to trip into that scenario very easily. Yep. Okay, I, that, you know, honestly, that's a that's a that's a pretty good argument. Um, that's probably the strongest argument for not changing the default of major upgrade of of MSI packages and only changing the 
a recommendation for bundles for when the version is the same. Yeah, except I, I also dislike inconsistencies. So, <laughs> yes, but I'm the burn behavior is not good, especially since it works. And so that one. Yeah, no, no, no. That's I, I completely agree, okay. and, and and therefore I also agree that we should look at the consistency. I'm again, not it's not a huge concern, um, but when we went through this again way back when, there was a lot of discussion about this because of the the accidental downgrade. And also, I agree this is probably mostly limited to dev scenarios. Yeah, that's um, mostly where people hit it. They just don't want to mess with it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, or they'll, they'll use the fourth field. Yeah, say they want to keep all three version field, the top three version fields, um, public facing, and they'll, you know, their build system will do a good job of changing the fourth version field. But you know, any random internal build won't necessarily do what people expect. Uh, you know, I, I'm 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 comfortable being you know, convinced otherwise or just, you know, telling me I'm being too pedantic or no, worrisome. I, no, you're, you're, the point is your point of then someone not knowing about the four parts accidentally getting behavior with the three parts of the version and then being very surprised later is valid. And therefore the allow same version upgrade and the allow same version upgrade forces that um, learning process before any damage can be done. It forces a decision, yeah. Yeah, it forces them to learn something, because that's honestly what they're going to do. Because you're like, this is silly. What's going on? These parts aren't the same. And hey, then you learn. The doc. <laughs> and then you learn that versions are only three parts. Right. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, so I think this says we're not doing this then, because this is about the major upgrade element or is this really about bundles um no this was the msi this was the msi side of it all right so i think this says that we're not doing this then cool with you sean yeah i was <laughs> just like... documenting what <laughs> rob said in the thread <laughs> yep okay so so there's another item for burn right yeah yeah no. okay yeah all right accessibility cool. oh, we're so Still doing these. At least one, this one's a little different and probably simpler, I think. Okay. Oh, come on, delete half of this. Oh, this is still us waiting for them on this, and if we can do the scrollable text thing. Okay, fine. So, oh, I'm sorry. You're right. No, this is the... This is the there's thing. another accessibility thing. All right, let, let's just let this ride one more time, and then we'll... Can we just bump okay. this one more time this week and then come back to it next week? And then really sure. we're going to make it go one way or another. Alt text, cancel dialogue. This one is probably the one you're thinking of. Try my act. Accessible, discover the default cancel dialogue on the... Waste tool set, which is the confirmation dialog, pops up when the user tries to cancel installation, is not accessible. There's a yellow warning, but has no alt text. I see. Is there a way of setting alt text on all these? I uh, Theoretically, it's the tooltip, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a little concerned because, of course, Windows Installer UI is essentially unchanged for 12 years now. Yeah. And some of this accessibility stuff is newer than that. But um, if it's the tooltip, then it's easy. All right. What are we doing with this then? Um, I'm comfortable with this in 4.x. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, so we haven't talked about this. Um, I actually think this would have to be in 4.0. Um, but this likely requires a new loc string. Ah. <laughs> so I would put it in 4.0 just to make that clear that you know some of these um, localizations are well <laughs> all of them unless we get some some you know different language native speakers to help um, they're going to be 
you know, partially localized. Whenever we add a new loc string, that's the the problem mm -hmm. um, with some of the other. Uh, well, so even well, all of the accessibility stuff, because generally you don't, you can't repeat strings. Oh, yeah. The idea behind, I mean, the idea behind most of the accessibility things is to provide different, more appropriate text that screen readers can use, um, so that you know necessitates new strings. But it means all of the localizations, and we have a lot, are going to be very partial once we start adding new stuff. Can't we reuse them and just make them unique per page? Reuse them. What's okay, them? Uh, Loke strings. Like, what if we could find a loc string that has, you know, the text warning in it? I don't know. We'll find a loc string that short. But, you know, if there was a loc string somewhere that was warning, can we not reuse that? Sure. Okay. Sure. Absolutely. All right. But we're not going to find them. <laughs> we're not, you're saying we're not going to get that lucky. It's going to be a... It's theoretically, absolutely. Yeah. No, not going to happen. It, there there might be some that we can repurpose. But, right. That's again, the reasons. if the strings are different by design... Then we're you know we're kind of kind of screwed there. So why are there not system defined strings for accessibility for things like the warning icon? Yeah, that'd be great if the Windows installer put them in there. But since there's yeah, the word image in there, it doesn't because right. they've custom drawn all these dialogues. They have to custom draw all of the uh, alt text underneath these things, which we hope is available to us to set on the tooltip. But it doesn't mean that we'd have to do that everywhere. Um, so are we taking this in 4.0 and then going to let the breaking roll through to hopefully help us get uh, localization on those? Um, yeah, assuming we, you know, make a pass through all the accessibility stuff. Um, but, yeah, we, we just have to decide, yes, we're going to do this, and yes, it's going to break people. Um, I don't know. I, we, we have to look at how we want to handle it. Typically, you would you know, add the English to all of the Wixels mm -hmm. and just call it partially localized. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So everything still builds. The problem is, especially with this accessibility stuff, is that it's not visible. <laughs> so people have to go deep looking to, to see that they're, they're using partially localized stuff. Oh, they, they have to float over this or whatever. Or run it through the screen readers. Yeah, right. Even I mean, yikes. So, yeah, this would be, uh, yeah, this is a challenge. I, I, there's no good answer here. Um, Loc is painful and expensive and... Yeah, you know, Jacob, all of these are in the MSI UI, which is also problematic because the last time I really cared about MSI UI was years ago, and this just seems like such pain for for given the you know given the limitations of MSI UI. I'd rather much rather make sure that like Wix standard BA is localizable, or sorry, accessible, not. <laughs> I hear you. Um, yeah, we need these people to stop opening these issues and instead help us. It's like, hey, we found out that this is busted. You're like, great, help us. Um, that's that's a. I mean, that's a real concern. Some of the ones we got, like last year, were you know using this particular tool. Do this. I'm like, what? I I don't. I don't have that tool. The ones we've gotten more recently are, you know, a little bit more straightforward, but it's still, it's, it's a specialty. It's a very lucrative specialty. I mean, you know, traditionally when you're like the setup guy, as I've often been, um, that means you're the setup guy. You're also an, you have to be an expert in the build system and you, absolutely inevitably get involved in loc. Mm -hmm. When I was on Flight Simulator, everyone else got to take their vacations as soon as we shipped English. Guess 
who was still around. Yes, it was the test team and Bob. Um, but yeah, it's, it, you know, it, it is, it's, it's a whole industry and we're kind of, yeah, this, the, the downside to open source. One of them is we don't have these resources like loc experts or translators. Um, anyway, uh, so I, I guess there's no, there's no real answer. I think going with the partially localized Wixels is the best we're going to do. Um, it'd be what good if, if we, we could create out. an issue that basically sums up the someone with this, <laughs> this ability, this skill needs to go through and find all of these things. Um, and then tag all of these issues to that one and make it very clear. Thank you, but someone needs to do this and just push it all onto that issue. So that one issue can capture all of these little um, things floating around and be like, someone needs to take all of these and solve it. Because we're not going to, you know, bit and piece this together is not the feeling I'm getting, given the state that we're in right now here. Yeah. And then... Well, I just pin it's not it. just one thing. I mean, no, it's not. It's it's this, and then it ties. In. It's just like you said. It's, it's the screen readers, all the different ones that we've hit, and then it's the loc, and then it also needs to be the. And here's the limitations of the Windows installer, and right, boom. That's just one project to go through and do all of these things, and capture it in one item, and then just tag all these to that, and we'll place that when someone steps up and wants to tackle it. Because I think doing all these one individuals is not going to. Yeah. And that would be yeah. MSI specific? MSI well, UI? This stuff is, but you know, I'm confident that we have accessibility lapses in Wix standard BA. Yeah, so I mean, just I don't know if we want to put those together. I don't either. I, 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 think, I think Sean's right. I think we would probably want two issues. OK. Um, link them together, basically say, I'm the one for Wix BA. If you're looking for the MSI one, that's over there. And the MSI one says, I'm the MSI one. If you're looking for the, the BA one, that's over there. And they can point at each other that way, but then these can all get tagged to their appropriate parent issue that just sits there saying, someone needs to sit down and do a concerted effort through all of these things. Because I don't know enough, like personally, to step up to this would require me to learn a whole lot of new technology and everything else, which I'm not against doing, but I'm not going to get to that right now. So if someone really wants this, then we need someone that's going to step up and say, look, I have the technologies and here's enough the issues. Knowledge. I can go apply the knowledge that I have and they can work with the, what's the part they don't know? Well, fine, we'll help them with Wixel files because it should be mostly with Wixel files and maybe some of the and, and some of the XML files. But like you said, it's going to yeah. be mostly located in the UI extension. So that's at least. Oh, yeah. There. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, the Wix standard BA, not so much. But right. yeah, all of these for MSI UI, definitely all in the UI extension. Right. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's tie all these together. Um, and I don't know if we close them or leave them. I don't know. Let's just close them against it saying, look, this needs to be resolved as that and just close all of them around it. And we know that none of them are closed until that main issue is done. Okay, sounds good. And then hopefully, these people that keep openings will get a message like, oh, someone really needs to help on that. Yep. Someone that knows what they're doing. Smart cabby not working in some cases. Hmm, that's interesting. They say that they're looking at the size but not looking at the actual cab. Why didn't they look at the actual cab? Oh, because it's embedded, I bet. They should build this external and look at the actual cab and see what's in it. See if they have all these files. In it. Although I guess you will see them. Oh, you probably can't see that. Ah, you can't see that they're shared, maybe? Mm. Or that they're single instance? Maybe looking at the cab won't work. I hmm. guess you're just dependent on the size of it, huh? Okay, well, sounds like there could be a problem in here. Four X. Someone could take a look at it. Um, 
we're going to see some cab cash problems. So this might be like one in that area, kind of solve all these together. Let's see if there really is a problem here. Write a unit test and make sure it all works correctly. You have one of those already, don't you? Specifically around smart cabbing? I think. I don't know. It's been too long. Okay. I haven't been coordinated for quite a while. Um, I think so. I think, well, no, I don't think it was a coordinative thing. Because I, I remember this recently. Okay. Oh, that was a sequencing problem. Never mind. Mm -hmm. That was different. All right. So, yeah. So this will be, I don't know. Will we take this in 4 I mean, we take it in 4.0. Does anybody want to try to pick it up in 4.0? Uh, I don't want to do all that. Uh. Thought. Um, I, let's put it in 4.0, knowing that right. it's not critical for okay. point zero. Definitely not for preview zero. Sorry. I, it's not critical that it oh, be four, in dots 4.0. Yeah. Right. It would be nice when we get past preview zero, then we'll get rid of that. A uh, little bit of confusion? Uh, I'm saying dependency, but it's not dependency that one. It's, uh, it's uh, redundancy. Uh, uh, no, that's not it either. I don't know. Anyway. All right. All right. So we've been through all those. That'll go 4 0. This will get tagged. And honestly, we could tag this one now, too, right? The alt text on this. Yeah, I'll open those issues. Yeah. And then tag these to their appropriate issue, and then we'll move on. Yep. Oh, weird. My sorting got weird. And then we're not doing that one. So, okay, so in the end, we got one. <laughs> All right. All right. So here we are 30 minutes in. Cool, cool. Um, and I started at the top of 4.0 issues. Um, I figured that was probably the place to go. Um, back to the beginning. We Last time we started at the end and started working forward, I figured, well, you know, if we're going to do triage, let's start at the beginning. Because um, that's a stable point, the end, the tail keeps moving. So let's go back for preview zero and for for analyzing bugs for preview zero. Let's start at the beginning of four O bugs and work our way back. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. How do you get that sort? Uh, you have to stay in issues. You stay in issues. You click on milestones and then you click on sort by ascending. Milestones for sort oldest. Which browser are you using, by the way? I'm sorry? Which browser are you using? Are you this is showing? Chrome, I think. I think this is Interesting. Chrome. Firefox looks a little different. Interesting. Like, where's the sort button? Where's the sort button? Well, also, I'm, I'm a little bit narrower to make it fit well through Twitch. So I'm actually on, if you look up. Oh, that GitHub, could be. It's, yeah. a, it's a narrow mode. Interesting. find what we're looking for? Sorry, yes, I'm all set. All right. Um, this is a cool feature. I don't know if we're going to do it. Um, allow accessing persisted variables from related bundles. This is really kind of Sean. <laughs> I don't know. If this I mean, it's assigned to Jacob, so I just thought he was going to do ah, it eventually. That's right. That's right. This is assigned to Jacob. I didn't even look. I'm not used to looking over here on this right side yet in this shape yet changed enough it's like not quite there I mean generally if it's assigned to someone I don't really worry about it yep so it's right I guess it's I do the same thing even when they're assigned to me <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jacob comments thoughts opinions um I think I can't use this comment. It's not assigned to anyone either. That means it's waiting for a whip to be implemented, written and implemented by someone. So if this guy has to show up again, you know, three years later, uh, <laughs> three plus three and a half years later. Um, oh, do we lose Jacob? Oh, it is me. Yes. It is you. Are you, is it? Are you still thinking this is a thing for four O? It's not preview zero though, right?
I would say no. Oh, a feature branch in three. All right. Well, hmm. I don't know how hard that's going to be to bring to four. I don't know how many changes were made to four um, from there, from three. Okay. Uh, Does it need to change in the interfaces? We really need a whip on this. Need to have that so we know how it works. I think that's the thing to kind of bang out real quick based off of your feature branch. Probably need to have a whip set up so people can kind of go, oh, that's how this works. And go from there. Yeah, I know. My speaking and Jacob's responses are delayed. Two minutes is a little bit long, though. I always wonder if it was a Twitch thing to let you time to... No, because it's all real time. I don't know. It's not like I see the responses faster. All right, so I but, think... But it's not preview zero, right? Yeah, Definitely unless it, not. Yeah, no, we don't... No, you're right. It's not preview zero. But we should see a whip on that. Start going. Uh, this, dialogues of standard bootstrap are not DPI aware. Is this done? Or, oh, no, this is Sean, so he's working on it. I wasn't sure whether we were going to try to bring it to three or not. That's why I left it open. No. No, nope. not given the amount of work it took and everything else. No, we're not taking that to three. Yeah, it's done in four. All right, cool. I think you can close that one and declare victory. Nougat package. That's a preview zero thing. Should get that done, at least for Wix.exe. There's another one later about Nougat package as well. But let's put this in preview zero. Uh, which feed are you declaring it done? <laughs> oh, that's true. Nougat.org or... My, so so my thinking was to push preview zero, whatever we declared preview zero, to nougat.org. So it was, here's an official preview zero build of Wix that you could pull straight from Nougat so that people could go there, experiment with, uh, with it, and then when preview one came out, they can move forward to that and, you know, work with that to essentially just get that process started. So, yeah, I think that let's do that as preview zero. I know there will be another set of Nougat packages for everything else. Um, but yes, for the preview zero packages that we post, let's go ahead and put that in preview zero. Project with merge module, defeating incremental build. Hmm. I don't think that's preview zero. Should get it fixed, but that's pretty internal. Um, same with tag extension. I don't think we have to worry about that one. And same with binary Wix slips, breaking incremental build. Although I wonder if this still happens, given how much Wix slips changed. But yeah. All right. I mean, it's all MS build, right? Uh, I don't think these are actually MS build. Oh, yeah, they are MS build. You're right. They are MS build because there's no incrementality in the command line. So, yeah, you're right. Definitely aren't worried about those. Uh, let's talk about this one. This is one that we actually opened a long time ago about allowing directories that had identical everything, IDs, names, you know, defaulters, everything, allowing them to be um, silently merged or discarding duplicates during linking. Um, when there are private identifiers. So I think we've allowed part of this to happen for the inline directory syntax. The question is, would we do it for non-private things, I think was the question. For what well, we allow is so is is this a problem only if the entire identity is identical like i same id the same short name the sort you know yeah. same source everything has to be identical how where it's not centralized is that a common problem no probably not my 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 concern would be well, because you see this where people end up defining the same directory, you know, directory ref, directory, but they, you know, they don't give it the same ID. So you get clutter in your MSI, but everything works. Yeah. I don't think we should do this. Yeah, I don't think we should do this for public. We do do this for private because that's what allows inline directory syntax. I haven't looked at this part in a long time. 
I'm now questioning my my understanding <laughs> a little bit. Um, you know what? Let's keep this one. Let me go investigate this one. I'm going to write that down, and we'll revisit it next week after I take a look at the underlying code and what what was I what were, what were we thinking here and why this was going to work. So I'm going to copy this and go take a look at this again. Now the next issue is inline directory syntax. Uh, inline directory syntax, and this is complete, um, and it's tagged with whips. So I think what's happened is I just haven't been closing whips, but I think we should. Um, but this is implemented. So I think we can start closing whips, right? Well, this one. Yeah, that are done. So I think that just needs to be closed. I will go ahead and I'll close that later, too. Just did it. Sorry. Oh, all right. Fine. It's done. This is the same thing. This is, um. oh, no. Well, this we're doing definitely. Oh, this isn't up to date. <laughs> this is old. This is early thinking. Um, Rick's that DLL. What's yeah. that? Yeah, we had core. Uh, I think this is done, but I think we actually had a a whip on it as well. Oh, this is when I wasn't tagging them for whips. All right, this has a whip, and this is a whip, and they're just not tagged as whips, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Yeah, okay, so these there are... There is a whip yes. for 4273. And for 4274, I bet. You are correct. Yep. Yeah. These are both whips. They just need to be tagged. So I was trying to tag a bunch of them, and I missed that one. Um, so these are done, essentially. Probably could update the Wix layering improvements document, though. And Do you want to leave them open? Uh, yeah, leave them open. I need. To, I want to go back and update the docs because things have changed enough, and there's enough usefulness in it that we should do that. Especially like the standard, the simple standard file structure. Now that the zip file is actually kind of right. interesting. So we yep. should go and update those docs. All right. Now we have this mass of issues that I totally forgot about in the settings engine that Mike Carlson was working on from a long time ago. He, All right. he has definitely stopped working on it since that time, which is too bad because it's still a fantastically cool idea. Um, but he's he's off doing other things now, working for other people. So what do we do with the settings engine um, at this point? Um, do we just close all these as, you know, out of date? I don't... Well, they're all tagged, so... Um, do we just push them all to 4X and say, hey, the settings engine is here. Here's all kinds of cool stuff you could do if someone wanted to pick up. It's cool technology. It'd be great if, it, if when it worked, but we're not in a hurry to get there. I'd be um Actually... Maybe this is a good use for the uh, respawn point mm -hmm. milestone. Yeah. That which says um, we will – this could come back if someone wanted to. Um, bring, right. Wanted to raise the issue again, right? Yep. Yeah, we could tag them out that and push them out the – I don't know. Is that the milestone respawn? Well, I think so. Yeah, because we need to have it disappear and have a place that you can go look in – I don't even know what it is, an alternative reality, uh, alternate timeline, <laughs> not a reality, alternative timeline that you're like, let me pull this out and bring it back into the now. I don't know. Is it is it more, is it that or is it just a parallel universe? Yeah, maybe. The What's cosmological the implications are, are staggering. <sighs> um, I, so I have to go back and look at, at what we wrote up, at what I wrote up as my notes from the discussion of, of that whole initiative. Because uh, one of the things, too, is we talked about for Respawn was that we would close the issues. Yes, to make them go away. Yeah, but they'd be tagged and closed. Yeah, but we don't. I don't know if we want to put them into milestones. That's why I want to like. Well, and and I would say for this, since the settings engine isn't tied to Wix, it probably could get its own milestone. Okay. All right. I don't want to talk about that right now. Let's talk about that, or 
why don't you go look at your notes to see if we get any smarter about what we said in the past, and then we'll okay. kind of come back to that. I, I don't think it'll cover this scenario, but yeah. No, I think it'd be good for us to then take in those notes and then add the scenario to it. Sure. Multiple media. Um, um, let's see. Multiple media elements, file sequence numbers. I do believe that this may still be a problem and probably something that needs to get fixed. Using multiple I, media elements, yeah. That's not that common, but it's also not, you know, exactly rare. Um, I would put this in the same category as the sequence problem. Yeah, I think this needs to be preview before. zero. I, I need to get to the root yeah. of this, and I just okay. haven't tried much yet, so I um, need to do that. All right. I just dump the... the all right. Oh, I forgot. This isn't going to change my career at all, so hopefully this is still... Let's see. If I go back to one... Nope. Some of them disappeared. All right. Uh, building installer of UI fails with culture FI. FI. Um, this, I need to look at this in preview zero. Um, you can give this to me and put this in preview zero. Um, this could be another one of those cases where you can't localize a number. Um, and need to go through and make that supported for localizing UI. And it doesn't look like you hit it until you actually try applying the culture. And I don't think we have any tests that are applying the cultures from Wix UI yet, because Wix oh, UI is only just very recently working again. So all that together means I, this needs to get tested, and we need to make sure this works. So yeah, this one, uh, preview zero. Okay. And you can give it to me, because it's in that place that I was in not too long ago. Pyro throws MSI session with patch baseline name is really long. Well, this isn't the same because <laughs> this stack won't exist any well, yeah. Yeah, no, this this stack probably doesn't exist like this anymore. Um namespace alone. Um didn't um uh, should actually read it. Um yeah, right. This is this is more of a the the error. We should catch the error rather than yeah die with an exception. Yeah. Sample the bug is here. I wonder if this still exists. Thirty-eight characters. Twenty-eight characters. Pull request. Okay. Um, patching this bug. Is this preview zero? We haven't actually talked about patching in regards to preview zero. I'd be fine. I mean, I'm fine if people try it and start finding problems with it. So there's that. Um, I don't think this particular this bug zero. should block preview zero. Agreed. Let's not do this preview it's, zero. It's, it's, a, it's error detection and reporting not right. functionality. 100% agree. Not preview zero. Okay. Um, Okay, let me hit refresh again to see if it gets shorter. Nope. All right, on the page two. Uh, the given key is not present in the direct dictionary. Ah, who installing? I get the error. Similarly, program. Oh, come on. This in the preprocessor? I, I, yeah, I, I think there's XML in here. Um. Oh, sure. That I can't see. And I, I don't know where the problem is. Cause Actually, if you if mean, you click the the triple dots and go to edit, I you'll see it. I don't edit here. Yeah, I'm not in as me here. So oh, I don't okay. Have, All I don't right. have editability. Um, you There's one. Um, I trace the culprit to the following definition is a define. What? Oh, it's a define merge modules dir equals env dot common program files x86. Oh, so the parsing is that. All right, let's it's, put this in preview zero, and I'll go okay. next up, because I want to look at that code. Um, anyway, so that'll be fine. There's a bunch of these in four, and those are the ones that I want to get fixed. In fact, I just fixed one really nasty one. Um, this is not implemented. 
move this code back to WasteDLL. Ah, oh, I love these messages. No. Um, I'm glad I wrote them, though. Um, this is so long ago. Oh, suppressed signature verification. Oh, gosh. Sean, do you know if su signature verification suppression is working? Like, this might all be back now. Because, like, way back when, I didn't finish the bundle stuff, and so it was all just kind of a mess. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. All right. Um, this is fire. That's fine. Um, why don't you assign this to me, Bob? Then it'll show up on my radar, too, because I'm going to take a look at this. And I'll go through real quick and make sure this is in there. I think it is, yeah. probably, and just need to. Do you want it for Preview Zero? Um, yeah, we should make sure that that's behaving correctly in Preview Zero. Okay. Th these are simple things to do. Yeah. All extension compiler messages have level of none. Mm. MS build level? No. No. This is probably obsolete now that we don't have the messages XML anymore. Yeah, really? Who reported this thing? <laughs> I don't know. But back in 2014, I, you know, we'll let it slide. It's like six years ago. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny if it wasn't so sad. Um, that'd be more go. funny if it wasn't so sad because it's still kind of yeah, sad. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's a is, little funny. This um, bug is, but yeah, I think you're. I think it's wrong probably, now. Yeah, I think this bug because is of out of date. The, the new messaging. Yeah, I think new this is messaging. Yes. Uh, Wix 4.0 is not getting signed, so we're not going to sign. Yeah, we we need to put this in preview zero. It won't be 4.0, but it will be. We need to figure out if we're signing the NuGet package. And are we signing any of our binaries? Um, actually, that's really fascinating. What did we sign in V3? Just the installer, right? The installer and the custom actions. And the custom actions, right. I don't think we so signed our binaries. We did not. Yeah, um, we signed pretty much everything, I thought. I don't think we signed but, the managed code. But we didn't sign any at managed the end, code. Um, maybe. Right, because there's this whole I thought big that's switch. What caused the bug for the managed uh, ah. CA. No, we 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 did sign the the uh, the native wrapper. Yeah. We signed all native code, and I had to go in and disable the signing for the native wrapper. Right. But like candle.exe is not signed. It's not signed. Yeah, we didn't sign everything because that would be a lot of back and forth with the signing service. So we never did that. And nobody ever bothered or complained or whatever. The Are we doing star name UAC signing? Prompt. But no, not the UAC prompt, but like running on a build machine that had that must every device guard, is that what it's called? Oh, but yeah, okay. It was device guard. That was the problem. Mm. So, but, but it, give this to me anyway, because I do think we should sign our NuGet packages, at least. So... Uh, let's do that. In preview zero. In preview, I want yeah, I want to get that done in preview zero. Okay. Um, signing targets are broken. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. That may be true. I'm not sure if it's still true, but we will fix it. Cache only related bundles attempt to upgrade older related bundles. Oh. This is assigned to Heath. Okay. I don't even know anymore. Uh, we should fix it. Definitely not preview zero. Yeah, fine. I don't know if we should fix it either, but definitely not preview zero. Fix <sighs> pure witch mix patching. Um, I guess this says that I'm done with patching, so this is done. Wow, that sounded real certain. Yeah, I'm just afraid of not. I I don't trust my knowledge of patching to know that this is done. Um, I guess we could treat everything else as bugs. So I mean, yeah, I guess that's the way to do that. The overall, it works, and who knows how many bugs are left in it? That's probably the answer. So I guess I can declare this done and go on. I, I'll I'll get that one, Bob. I'll go find the pull request. I put it in. I just closed it. Oh, Want me to reopen? No, 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 no. It's not worth it. <laughs> 
Um, okay. MS build, target X, yeah, fine. That's an MS build thing. We're not doing that in preview zero. Support, building an X60, a 64-bit boot wrapper. An X64, that would have been work too. Um, where are we at with this? Is this a thing? Well, we said we're not doing ARM64. So I think that means we're not doing X64 either. Ah, right. So we did not do, I, I, I keep forgetting if we've done this. I don't know why I can't remember. Sorry, we're not doing ARM64 for what? Preview zero. Oh. I mean, that's what we're talking about, right? You're right. Yeah, sorry. I... Uh, torch. This is definitely not preview zero, although we do need to come back and decide what we're going to do about the lack of torch. Solution. Yeah, no solution stuff now. Publish NuGet packages to NuGet.org. Okay. Uh, we. I guess this is a preview zero. I don't know why we would keep this around otherwise. So doesn't isn't this covered by the other? Is it? Oh, there was another one, wasn't there? Yeah. And there's a signing one, but you're right. There's one before that even, right? Yep. All right. I think we can dupe it to that one. Uh, okay. Burn API documentation. Documentation oh. definitely not preview zero. <laughs> uh, Sean, any <laughs> care to change that? Uh, uh, the plan was to just run sandcastle on the xml from yeah. nba core is it a and and things are a little, its own problem mm -hmm. things are a little different now so i don't know if i'm still willing to do that <laughs> yeah things are a lot different now so not preview zero not preview zero all right nuget package generated by wix Uh, what? Simplified Wix? Must be. Oh, no. I don't know. Well, you added functionality in Wix to build a NuGet package. Back in 2014. Yeah, that's probably dead stuff now. Um, I thought, wasn't that just MS build magic? Maybe. It's not preview zero. <laughs> We'll come back and think about it, but it's not preview zero. Burn engine should provide callbacks for system restore. I'll do that eventually. <laughs> not preview zero then. Package DTS mm. separate NuGet packages. That will happen, but not in preview zero. Uh, burn should support semantic versioning. Hey, we've been talking about that already. Is that a preview? That's a preview zero if we're going to. I think that's preview zero. Um, I don't know where. I mean. You can't implement that until I implement the, the issue in getting the burn engine to support right. those kind of versions. Right. So that's why I'm asking, that's a question. Is that preview zero? It doesn't have to be because it's an additive thing in the end. Is my burn engine version things preview zero? That it doesn't. I don't know. That's. I don't know that it has to be, does it? Because that's. That's your question well. to answer. No. Well. That's no. Up to you. No. You're worried about the, uh, the. Well, the API changing, right, and making it a string instead of a keyword. Right. But does that have to be preview zero? It doesn't have to be. I mean, we can bring the breaking changes later. I'm not too worried about you know people in this preview zero, um, with. Um, rewriting their BAs. Well, just it's not. Hopefully, it won't be rewriting, but. Yeah, I mean, having some bumps from preview zero to preview one, yeah. I mean, honestly, well, it's mostly with standard BA people that probably should, like, maybe that's what we should say. It's like, you probably just want to stick to with standard BA for your bundles right now. Um, I mean, that's probably what we should say, because there's probably going to be more changes to the burn APIs. That, That's the, the, the um, disclaimer. The disclaimer should probably be, look, programmatic APIs are not done, right? so there's more chances of things being broken on those fronts. So you're welcome to bring your burn BA along, but you might think about not doing that and just using the BA for now. Right? Hey, I think Sean's going to fly away soon. <laughs> is, that, is, that your, is that your boarding announcement? Yeah, they're starting the board, but... Oh, I was joking, but okay. 
<laughs> All right. Um, I don't think I can I mean, take this. I think we'll get the wording correct on it. Um, we do not take this in preview zero. It can come later. This definitely can. The changing of versions can work out, and we'll go from there. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Preview, preview zero doesn't have to contain, you know, like final locked APIs. No, I, I'm sure we're going to hit a number of things that are breaking changes. I mean, we're yeah. going to be like, oh, well, we thought that was all done, but oops, here's a breaking change. And I don't want us to get too hung up on, oh, well, we didn't get preview zero, so we can't do it. I don't want to do that. So I, I think in burn, we're going to be like, here's the API. Uh, you're welcome to get on board because there's a lot of changes to the API, especially underneath with the plumbing, the, the message-based system underneath the change, which is cool. But know that if you do that, that you may be seeing more changes later, like in particular the version number that we send you. But if you don't care about that, then, hey, you know, maybe that won't break you because you won't even be call using that callback, for example. Right. All right. I think we'll stop there. That's 46666, 4666. Um, on February 2015. Oh. Um, I mean, I can I can go longer. They're not. They're gonna keep well, on boarding for like half an hour. <laughs> yeah. Well, I probably should wrap up here too because I have to go acquire a kid at soccer in 10 minutes, and I don't want to dig in. And this feels like as good a stopping place as any. Um, okay. We are. <laughs> This does not surprise me, but just so we know, we have one, two, three, four, five pages left of this. So um, it's actually not that bad because we remember we started at the other end, so we're going to meet in the middle. Oh, true. I just don't remember how far did we get. Did we get through two pages last time? Fifty-eight oh one. So Wait, we're going from four six 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 to fifty-eight oh one. Where is fifty-eight oh one? Not on page four. Page six, page six, beginning of page six. So we only have so, three pages left. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, and maybe they'll get faster. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know if the old ones are harder or if the new ones are harder, or I'm just pretending that it'll matter at all. Um, all right. So we'll pick this up again. I think we're still okay in, in two weeks because I think we have enough preview zero stuff. Do you guys agree with that? Should keep us busy for two weeks? I mean, I know I have enough. Yeah. Sean, you, I mean, you're, you're moving and everything, so I expect <laughs> things to be a, a little bit more up in the air for you. So I think we're probably good. Up in the air. Uh, I didn't okay. try. Sorry. Sorry. Um, so let's go with August 5th. I don't think we need to pick up again anything next week. We'll be back in two weeks. We will continue this process. We'll do the triage process. If anything else exciting comes up, we'll discuss that as well. Um, on that note, uh, anything else come up that people want to talk about? We'll be back in two weeks. We'll be doing more of this, um, figuring out what's in Preview Zero and fixing them. I did not mention this, but um, if you've been looking, a lot of Preview Zero bugs have been disappearing. So we've not talked about them, but... Uh, the list was shorter than when we started. Um, in fact, and not just it, disappearing, they've been fixed. In fact, yeah, right. In fact, all of the issues for O oh, preview issues currently fit on one page. So that's good, right? So stuff that we know we are going to work on for the next two weeks fits on one page. So uh, that's what we're working on. Two weeks from now, we'll talk about more preview zero stuff. Anything else, uh, Jacob? Darren, anything else going on out there? You guys good? I try to kind of babble my way through here as the uh, Twitter or Twitch takes its time to catch up with your guys' things on your side. If there's anything you want to add to the conversation. Um, <laughs> that's Sean's second call, so he's going to turn to pumpkin soon. Um, <laughs> or a goose? Duck? What? A fly? I don't, there's, I don't know. Anyway. I had something smart to say there, and it just went pff, gone. So two weeks, that's August 5th. Sounds right, right? August 5th or 3rd? 5th. August 5th. Yeah. August 5th, we will do this again, uh, plow our way through, get through another, hopefully, who knows, maybe we'll get through three pages, um, depending on how many other issues we have to talk about. And then we'll know through all the 4 open 4 issues what's left for Wix 4.0. Um, and then after that, we will, after we get them all triaged, then we'll review what's left for 4.0 um, from week to week. So uh, I was telling 
Bob the other day that I figured that we're probably that Wix 4.0 is probably like end of August, early September, and he was like, "Really?" And I'm like, "Well, yeah, given how many we have left, preview zero. Sorry, preview zero. End of August, early September was my guess right now. So that's what we're trying to um to go. Um. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, it's good. Good to see Jacob. Yep. Go ahead and kick tires. Already we incorporated some of your feedback on Wix Convert, for example, so that experience should be much better than it was uh, the last time you tried it. And more and more things like that. So uh, we'll be back in two weeks. This is good stuff. Uh, pounding out bugs for Preview Zero. Uh, Sean, wish you a very safe trip on your way back to the States. Um, fly safe. Nice. And two weeks from now, we'll all be back and doing this again. All right? Later, all. Bye. Bye.